Shall we begin? Well-known designer brands ruin the concept of luxury, but thankfully, there are a few brands that still try to keep the charm going. Last Thursday, I made a video about the brands that are still luxurious among all the brands that are failing quality-wise, and Max Mara was a solid member on my list. But since it was a video about multiple brands, I couldn't find the chance to get into details. Still, I would highly suggest you watch it since I talk about other brands as well. Anyways, I wanted to make a particular one that only focuses on Max Mara because it's one of my favorite brands. So here we are. Today we'll talk about Max Mara and discuss whether it is worth the money or not. I'll also talk about the real customer experiences through the end of this video since I believe it's really important. Founded in 1951 by Akili Mara Modi, Max Mara is one of the brands that will probably never fail you with the quality it offers. He was initially inspired by French haute couture and mixed it with cutting edge industrial tailoring techniques. The brand was an immediate success and there are a few reasons behind it. Mara Modi once said, families don't make projects for five years, they make projects for generations. And this saying perfectly summarizes the brand. The timeless elegance it offers is incredible, and the brand didn't fail Mara Modi's vision after all these years. I strongly believe that one of the reasons why Max Mara never got spoiled is because its CEO is from Mara Modi's family. In the luxury world, carrying on the legacy is pretty important since it's the reason why these brands existed and became successful in the first place. This is how brands gain prestige through the years. It creates a name for itself and gains the trust of the customers. One should know that they will get the best offer for the price they're paying. Plus, Max Mara has never tried to keep up with trends. If it were trying to be trendy, I think it would fail big time. Long story short, I can say that its products are beyond any short-term fashion trends that'll be outdated probably in a year or so. Instead, it prefers to preserve its designs in a better way. You can't see drastic changes in the designs because it aims to be timeless. When I say timeless, you have to believe me. Let's take a look at the brand's most famous coat, 101801. Can you believe it was originally designed in 1981? You can see the unique lines and precise proportions that solidifies its status as an iconic piece in 2023. This is the ultimate piece for capsuled wardrobes, don't you agree? It's a timeless, elegant piece that can be worn for multiple occasions, so it's safe to say that it's a good investment. It can be worn for many years, and it will still look the same years after. That's why it's the most famous product of this brand. If you have this piece, let me know how long you've been wearing it to enlighten us. Besides its chic design, I should say that the quality this brand offers is top-notch. It gives the customer what Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and Prada can't nowadays. Some people think timeless fashion is a little boring, and I see where you're coming from. But even iconic celebrities such as Angelina Jolie, Taylor Swift, Gigi Hadid, and Hailey Bieber were spotted wearing Max Mara, and they're not boring at all. But I also know that we all have different styles and characteristics. Some people just want to be energetic and they want to reflect it through their outfits. At this point, I should say that accessorizing is what makes a final touch to the outfit. Timeless pieces offer a blank canvas you can work on and the rest is up to you. Plus, Max Mara also produces different products like this sparkling teddy bear icon coat for those who like the combination of glamour and playfulness. I find it mesmerizing to learn that there are more than 300 hand-sewn rhinestones of various sizes on this coat. I think it proves how much thought and care they put into their products. I believe this is what differentiates Max Mara from other high-end luxury brands that practically turn into fast fashion nonsense. Now, let's talk about the real customer experience, shall we? Of course, I did my research and already had an idea about the brand, but the comments I saw online just proved my case. People are mostly obsessed with the quality, and they all say that the product they bought will last them for a long period of time. Besides, they feel like the thing that they bought is worth the money they spent. On a side note, I saw a few comments about online shopping and they were suggesting people to shop from the store instead of the website. Apparently, some people had problems, especially refund and return-wise. So if you're planning to make purchases from Max Mara, it's better to keep this in mind. I also saw a few people saying that they acknowledge the quality, yet they prefer other brands since Max Mara is pricey. Guess what? I'm on board with them. I would probably prefer Max Mara and The Row if I could afford it. Speaking of which, I earlier made a video about The Row and you might want to check it as well if you like Max Mara. That's all for today. Don't forget to let me know what you think about Max Mara and I would appreciate if you share your personal experience with the brand in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button and take a look at my channel. I bet you'll love my other videos as well.
don't forget to subscribe to show your support. It means a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.